hopefully you realise this, that on a Sunday morning, we dedicate a few hours just to reflection, a bit of time to maybe spend in prayer, if you want to, if you're that way inclined. If you're not, then it's just a great, I think it's the perfect way just to start your Sunday, because there's music that is um, a little bit softer than what we usually play, but we haven't had a presenter, so it's just basically been a musical jukebox. So when the opportunity to have a presenter came up for that show we jumped at the chance especially when we heard about this lady here a friend of steve legs and a lady who basically brings a wealth of knowledge and experience in this field to the radio station we're so blessed to have her on to help to guide this show as well because it's what she does best she knows her <laughs> stuff ladies and gentlemen your new sunday breakfast presenter we've got sue rinaldi good morning sue Good morning. Good morning. What a great introduction that was. Well, genuinely, we are so blessed to have you on board because I've said this before. You know, we can get a person who can introduce songs. That's <laughs> fairly easy. But to find a person who is passionate about the music that they play and has got actually, you know, experience playing the music herself. I don't mean just pressing the buttons to play. I mean, actually <laughs> worship leading. It's a rare thing. So to have you on board, we're so blessed, Sue. Thank you. No, it's it's a great opportunity. As you say, I've been involved with music for decades. So, you know, when I was eight years old, actually, I thought, this is what I want to do. I watched Joan I'm a Trading sing a song on top of the pops. And I thought, music, that and that was it. That was my kind of goal. And then later in life, I found faith, Christian faith. And so putting faith and music together just guided my whole my whole lifetime, actually, to, the, to, to this date now. So, yeah, involved in singing, worship, songwriting, uh, producing. Yeah, with a lot of a lot of years and a lot of stories, really. And is it true, uh, Steve let us into this little insight, that oh. you were one of the first, well, the first Christian band on Top of the Pops? Yeah, uh, I think so, yes. I mean... Okay. I'm sure that's absolutely true. Although Parchment <laughs> may have been on there with Light Up the Fire, not sure. But but okay. we were actually in the charts for I don't know a couple of three weeks, and so it was top of the pops. And this is a, this is like a history lesson. It was like November '87. It was when all the Kylie Minogue and Stop Aiken and Waterman, and there was this whole kind of pop dance movement. Anyway, we released a, a few singles and yeah, got on top of the pops, watched at that time by over 8 million people, would you believe? When you... It's always intriguing me this. When you get that call from, presumably it's your manager, it's your record <coughs> label who says, I've, I've booked you in for top of the pops. It must be a very surreal experience because in the 80s, <laughs> Top of the Pops was the show to be on. I mean, it, it went a bit weird in the noughties, let's be honest, but in it its heyday, the 60s, 70s and 80s, it was the show to be on and it made or broke careers, didn't it? Yeah, I guess so. If you take it really seriously, then it does perhaps break careers if your song doesn't go in the charts for long. But for us, it was just part of our journey. It was just getting the song out, getting the music out, getting the message out. But it was very surreal because I'd grown up on top of the pops and I thought one day I would love to be on there. So when we actually got on there, I was with a band called Heartbeat with a song called Tears From Heaven. It was really surreal because it was almost like a dream come true. But at the end of the day, it's just a warehouse with lights. And so, you know, what you see on your TV screen, they do an amazing, it's like Strictly Come Dancing. You know, it's just amazing what they do with lights and wardrobe and cameras. But actually, you know, you're just in a studio and it's, it's, it's a working day. So it, it, it was surreal, but it was amazing. And I, I was just shaking from the inside out. It was like, ah, but it was incredible. Do you remember who the presenter was? Because... Yes. We find out how old you are. I would never no, no. ask the lady how old she is, but <laughs> we've all got it's like um you know how old a person is um by the Radio One breakfast show presenters that they remember. <laughs> and all of the, the pops presenters as well. Who was yours? It was a double act between Mike Smith and Janice Long. Right. Janice Long. I know. Um, so then you, uh, well, I, I say then, I mean, you've been a worship leader for a long time. I mean, the first yeah. time I chat on the phone, I think you were on your way to Spring Harvest in France. Yes. 
Yes, that's right. So they've got a site over in France in the Vendée, beautiful area. And every week, it's a holiday site, but every week they have a teaching program and a worship program. So I've been out there for the last 12 years, probably, leading worship. Um, and it's it's wonderful because you, you mix it with a bit of a holiday because everyone's there on holiday, but also you lead worship, you get to know people. It's nice, yeah. But how many years have I been doing it? Many, many, many. <laughs> Don't give many. a number to. Do not give no, a number look, It's just many, many, many. many, many. But hey, oh. come on. Do you know what? something? And this is just something I'm only recently sharing. The other the other week, I think it was last Friday, I got awarded by Step Forward, which is a, a big awards thing. Outstanding contribution to Christian and gospel music. And I figure you only get that at a certain <laughs> age. It's a bit like a bus pass, <laughs> which I haven't got yet. I just want you to it's know. It's one of those things, isn't it, that um, at the BAFTAs and the Brits, when it's the <laughs> Lifetime Achievement Award. Yeah, you know yeah I it, didn't get that one, though. I didn't get that one yet. <laughs> Not yet. Just outstanding contribution. So, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, collecting my trophy next week and I'll hang it up in my <laughs> awards room. Oh, dear. Um, Eddie days. We are so excited with everything that you bring to the table because, you know, there's nobody in this organization who knows worship music like you do. So basically, we've said, look, mm -hmm. here's the blank canvas, and you're the best person for the job. You run with it. So it oh. will be starting, be well, on Sunday from 8 a.m. is Sue's first show, 8 till 10. And just tell us what we can expect. Well, it is a mix of um, newer worship music, newer worship leaders, songwriters. Uh, so you will have some newer ones that maybe people wouldn't have heard of. And there's a lot of collectives uh, I've got on the show on Sunday without giving too much away. You know, you've got Gas Street, you've got Elevation, you've got Thrive, you've got Bethel, you've got so many collectives that are based in a church or an area. And from them, you're getting a lot of new music. But then we've got the old standards, you know, Newsboys, Counting Crows, um, Rebecca St. James, you know, all, all the kind of standards that have really played their part in creating spiritual music that allows people to be in touch with their creator. So hopefully a mix, new, old. Yeah, so be kind. It's my first show. Come on. <laughs> and we can't wait. Uh, so switch on your radio. It's the perfect. What we were thinking is that when you wake up on a Sunday morning, there's the people who go to church, the person who people who don't go to church. And it's just it's two hours of we like to call it reflective music. So that kind of music that you can just have on in the background and hopefully it will help to lift your mood and it'll it'll put you in a nice space and a nice place for the rest of the day. So that is Sue's first show. She's on the website now in fact if you go and have a look at her beautiful face she's up there right now and it tells you a little <laughs> bit about the show and she will be with you on sunday from 8 a.m and genuinely sue thank you so much for being a part of the radio station we're so excited for the future no i'm i'm excited to find new music as well i think this is what it's doing for me it's like where's some new music so it it's pulling me in to spend time listening to more music and then just sharing it that's what it's all about Looking forward to it. That's Lovely. Saturday, 8 a.m. You take care, yep. Sue. Thank you. Goodbye.